because I've got a special exercise saved up for the end. It's one of my favourite abdominal workouts. It's tough, but the more you do it, the more strength you'll gain and maybe even some more shaping. Lie down, feet in close, the basic starting position, then lift up. Hold it there, lift and squeeze again, come even higher and take it down. Try it again. So three times, two, and three. Now number three is the one that's really, really tough. Try again. Come up. And two. And three. I want you to keep going on that one. Just keep that moving. But I'll pop over to June. There's one thing that I have to explain on this exercise. And it's really, really important that you remember the first lift has to be a great big one. So please come right up on the first one. And then a little squeeze. And a little squeeze. And lower down. Keep going, June. Now one thing to remember, the whole idea of this exercise is for strengthening, so we're not using any momentum, you've got no chance of moving around and swinging your way up. You're also trying to get maximum range of motion. So the first one, as I said, has to come as high as you possibly can. It's a tough workout, it's I know. Very tough. Come on, pull all the way up. I don't care if you don't <laughs> smile, you just gotta go for it. This is really, really hard. Try not to do any sort of down-ups in between either. You come up and you hold it. And you just lift from there and hold it. And lift from there and hold it. Ooh. It's working, isn't it? it? Sure is. Go for two more. Let's see how everyone else is going. Come on, Natalie. Woo! Work that tummy hard. Michelle, we'll go for one more. Okay. One more. Okay. Lift up high. Lift even higher. You can do it. Squeeze a lift and down and relax. Stretch out. Now this is what I call my strengthening exercise. That was one set. You're going to try and build your way up to doing three sets of those exercises in your own time. Beginners, please stick just with your basic abdominal curl and all the four exercises we did at the beginning. But let's go back to this one one more time. I want you to keep this one going and in your own time you'll gradually increase it. Hold it there and relax down. Come up again. Lift up as high as you can on the first one. Yeah, and then up. Ah, did you miss that trick? Michelle missed that trick. Come down, try it one more time. Come as high as you can the first one. Right up. No, it's not like three equal bits. This will make it harder. This will make it even harder. Fantastic. Take it down. Keep going, Michelle. You can do it. Right up, Effie. That's it. Good. All right, I'm going to join you. Now I'm going to finish off with the last ones. Really, really advanced. My hands way back here. The choice is yours. You can have your hands in or your hands out, but you keep going right to the end. We're going to be coming back with a stretch any second. In fact, I think maybe we want to do one more, shall we? Go for one more. Ready? Lift and right up and lift up. One more for good luck. Come on, come on. Woo! Squeeze up and lower down. Please stretch yourself out and relax. There's a lot of moaning and groaning going on. What I'd like you to do is a tiny, tiny rock and roll to come up. Bend your knees in, roll yourself up carefully. How do you feel? That sort of a workout is pretty tough. What we're trying to do, as I said, is strengthen the abdominals, but work on balancing. So whenever you do an abdominal workout, you might have been out for a walk, and you come back and you think, oh, I'll do that abdominal section. Remember to do some back work, and always finish with a bit of a stretch. All we're doing now is sitting nice and comfortably. You've got your legs crossed, back up nice and straight. Inhale, reach your hands towards the ceiling. Stretch forward, and you're reaching way out of your hips. Let your hands relax down and please sink way down over the top of your legs. Let your head relax down, elbows relax down. Remember, stretching takes time. Just like everything else in this video, it all takes time. It won't work with only one trial. So take your time with them and just roll all the way out of that stretch. Balance, as I said, is important. So change over and do exactly the same stretch on the other side. Inhale as you lift up. And exhale as you reach forward, all the way out of your fingertips. Relaxing way down, sink down through the shoulders and the arms. Please don't forget that this workout that we've done today has ba been based on strength and conditioning and toning. You will gain really no aerobic benefit out of this. If you need the aerobic workout, you might need to combine this with other forms of exercise. Slowly roll up. Fantastic. Okay, we did do a leg workout a little way back, so we want to stretch those out still. One leg forward, reach out towards your toes. If you can't grab your foot, it doesn't matter, you hold onto your leg or wherever you are comfortable. Think of taking your chest and your chin towards your big toe and then pull just a little closer towards that leg. 
and release up out of your stretch. Great. This one comes right up and across. Now, last time we did that with June, just here, what I'd like you to do to increase that stretch is bend your bottom leg in. Cheeks of your bottom down and try that again, lifting even taller. Your bottom is flat on the ground, your back is straight and you're pulling your knee across towards your opposite shoulder. Your hand is behind you just for a little bit of support and you'll get a stretch just down through your bottom and your outer thigh. Place your hand down, take your arm across, lift up and slowly twist and turn the body all the way around. Keep thinking very tall through your back. And release out of that, we do exactly the same things again. So what I want you to do is just unfold your legs and give them a little bit of a shake out. Loosen that off. Good. I want to take all of that. So it's one leg forward, one leg out to the side. Inhale, exhale and reaching. Now you reach as far forward as you can. You're trying to sort of bend your tummy and your chest and your body down across your leg. And just reach out as far as you can over that leg. The pull happens all the way down the back of the thigh, even behind the knee. Keep your knee as straight as you can. Come out of that stretch. Now the second one is this one here. If you found the one with the bent leg a little bit too hard, stay here. That's exactly the same stretch, just a little bit easier. You want to move on to the next stage. Bend the knee in, push your bottom down, wrap around, sit up tall and hug your knee across towards your opposite shoulder. Placing your hand down, lift and slowly turn. And you're turning your head all the way over your shoulder, looking as far as you can behind you, working on the rotation in your spine. And ease your way back out of that one. Come back in towards the centre. Knees out to the side, holding the ankles. Inhale, lift up. And please exhale, reaching forward. You're going to use your elbows now to push into the knees. Leaning your body weight forward. So you're using your body weight over the top of your legs to help open out to the inner thigh and the groin area. Press that down. Remember we did our lunges, our squats, and inner thigh leg workouts. We've done so many things today. Release out of that stretch. Bring your knees together. Please take your hands behind your legs, lifting tall, breathing in. And as you exhale, you round your body. Imagine you're trying to sort of lengthen your arms. So you're pulling away from your legs. You want your arms to get longer and longer, your body to get rounder and rounder. And you feel a terrific stretch through your back. The exercises we've done today, as I said, for strengthening and conditioning, but also very postural. Things like the abdominal and back workout will help you to sit very, very tall and help to protect your back against any injury. So think about these things when you're working out. Come all the way up. We need a little bit of low impact exercise. We need to stretch out the calves. So place your foot flat down, your heel down, lean your chest forward and just relax forward over the top of your leg. Feel your body weight sinking down over that leg. The stretch is now running just down behind the ankle into the lower calf area. Now these muscles can get tight just from daily life. If you wear high heels, something like that, you're shortening these muscles, so stretch out. Even stretching on its own without all the other exercises is fantastic for your health and fitness. Change over, take the other side. Sit way down into that heel, reach your body forward and relax. Well, we've done a fantastic workout, so I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Stretch it all the way out. Remember you can use the video in two different sections, the first and the second section. We'll see you again really soon. So there you go, you've done a fantastic workout for your legs, your abdominals and your back. Try to remember not to overdo this type of exercise, maybe three times a week with some rest days in between. You will also note there was little aerobic activity in the exercises, therefore we urge you to seek other forms of aerobic activity such as swimming, cycling, walking, anything that allows your body to move continuously for 20 minutes or more. Now this workout's been designed for everybody, but I'd like to remind you that we're all mums. Except for Natalie, who's Effie's daughter. <laughs> so the workout's for everybody. Please join us the very next time.